What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and today I'm bringing you Play With Death Eyes, also known as Play With Gilbert. Whatever you name your cat in the game is what the game is then going to be called, apparently. Uh, there's a number of graphical options that you can tweak in this game, sound options, there's uh, seasonal content that you can turn off and on. This is really a game that's geared towards kids, so there's actually a timer that you can turn on for the game, so if you want them to play for 15, 20 minutes, whatever, you can turn that on. Now. I'm not reviewing this title because I thought uh, Play With Gilbert slash Play With Death Eyes was a title that would interest me. I really wanted to do some commentary on world building and let's see, I want to go to Gilbert's neighborhood. There we go. So a lot of games get dropped these days on Steam and a lot of them are very, very uninspired. They just... They're boring, they're dull, they're, um, a lot of them are usually Unreal or Unity titles, and uh, there's just, they're, they're very lifeless. Now, here's a game, this guy um, actually has another game on Steam that's a, it's a more adult title, it's for an older audience, and it's like a first person uh, adventure game of some sort. I looked at it in brief, um, and it looks it looks good um, from the, the screenshots that I, I glanced at, but he made this for his daughter. Um, he got this cat asset that he wanted to mess around with and play with and make a game for his daughter, and he did that. And it grew into something where, you know, she really enjoyed playing it, and, you know, I guess his wife recommended, hey, why don't you, why don't you put this game up on Steam? And so he did. And that's great. I mean, fantastic. I know as a dark, demented gamer, I... When I first booted this up, I still felt like maybe this was a joke, and I was looking for, like, the weird, twisted thing uh, that, you know, would pop out around the corner or whatever. But no, no, it's genuinely just, like, a wholesome, fun game for a uh, younger audience. So, what's my point in playing this? What's my point in, quote-unquote, reviewing it? Because I'll give you the review right now. If you have a kid who would like to play a video game, this is perfect. I mean, especially if they like cats, even more so. You customize your cat, you run around, you collect fish, there's this ninja lady that carries around a big gold fish on her back and you have to stun lock her in order to get the fish off of her. Uh, there's hidden cats, there's hidden characters, there's hidden environmental... Um, things. Um, it's just, it's a fun playground, and even if you're just a kid at heart or somebody who just likes sandboxy games, if you're looking for a less twisted goat simulator, um, less funny too in my opinion, but yeah, less twisted ghost simulator, then this, this is it. You can actually do this thing where you launch yourself through the air with sprint and jump if you hit them at the same time. There's a run, uh, there's sit, you can meow, there's the stupid ninja lady, uh, let's see if I can just stun lock her here real quick. Nope, I missed her. I mean, there, and there's even an element of, of slight challenge to uh, the game. If you're really wanting to collect everything, get everything, blah, blah, blah. So, as far as my review goes, is it a fun title? Yeah, if you're a kid, if you're just looking for something simple, sure. Um, there's, you know, there's, there's physics in it. You can push the sleigh around. Um, if you are looking for anything with any meat or substance to it, no, this isn't your game. This guy here is the most twisted thing in the game, and he freaks me the heck out. He's some cactus guy, and he there's one level in particular where he makes this weird little noise, and he stalks you through the whole level. Uh, every time you turn around, he's like right there with his like weird twisted eyes. Personally, I would love for this guy to make like a older version of this game with twisted weird stuff just like hidden throughout the world that you can discover uh, because I mean the world is well made and that's kind of getting to what the point is here this is what I'm trying to get at um, here is a world that this guy made for fun uh, for his daughter and the world building in it, the level design and everything else is so much better than 90% of the stuff that gets dropped on Steam these days. I mean, seriously, like, this is impressive. Um, if you took, if you, ah, oh, I stun locked her. Ha, got your fish. Okay. Um, if you were to um, take this game and, I mean, look at that. Like, that's just, that's just cool. Like, let the kid in you, let the, the cynical, bitter, you know, <laughs> gamer that we all pretty much are, let that guy just take a back seat for a second. And I mean, you just got, you got a turtle walking around with a fish on his back, you know, like, it's just, it's creative, it's fun, it's enjoyable, um, it's, it's not dark and twisted like everything else that we play these days. But even if you took a level like this, okay, and just added, uh, combat, 
cat can throw fireballs. And you can... Oh, man, this guy's so creepy. He just follows you around once you discover him. He just... Oh, it's so... It's so... It's like the darkest thing in this game. Um, but in any case, yeah. If you uh, were just to add fireballs or whatever and make this, like, a multiplayer, like, fun shooter, you know, and other games have done that where you're, like, in a... You're a small whatever in a bigger world and you have to run around and shoot but just the the color the creativity why is that cat like so much bigger than the other cats it's kind of creepy i guess he's my size so it's not that creepy um but uh yeah i mean just the, the world building in this is really nice um you know it's simple like it's creative but it is simple it's not like it's overly complex but there's indoor environments uh there's uh there's the color scheme is nice I thought that was a real person for a second, and it kind of freaked me out. Uh, but yeah, there's there's multiple indoor environments. Um, let's see. Sometimes these even have... Why are you following me? Whoa, oh my gosh. That stupid cactus. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's all I really wanted to say, honestly. I just wanted to point out... I'm trying to actually exit the level. You can chain to other parts of the game. Let's see here. Go to the park. The park... So I've got this thing turned up, like, graphically, and the park, actually, I get some lag and some slowdown. It's a really big, wide, open environment. Uh, it's got uh, large water areas, rock outcroppings, a hot air balloon you can go on, and you can fly around. Um, it's got all kinds of stuff in it. There's a couple of restaurants you can go inside. There's a lot of different areas that you can go to uh, in this game. Let me see if I head over this way. Yeah, there we go. I really didn't want to go to the gym. I actually wanted to go to my house. But, uh, you know, it's fine. Whatever. Let's see if maybe back this way? No? And it's not like it's a huge area either. It's just, it, it feels larger than it really is. One, because of your size. Um, but two, let's see, maybe here. And you'll hit areas where it's like, oh, no, you got to turn around. Yeah, let's, let's go here. Um, so... I guess what I'm trying to say here is this. One of the things that makes games so much fun is that they are an environment that we can escape to and enjoy running around. When everything these days is so bland and generic and there's nothing creative or fun anymore, um, it, it just takes away a lot of the joy of playing games. Like, oh, I went down the slide. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Okay, very, very fun. Um, what is with this sled? That is weird. I mean, I think it's part of the seasonal content, and it's just not turning off properly, I think is what it is. Because um, you can you can turn on seasonal content, and it's like winter wonderland. There's the tortoise. I want your fish, sir. Ah, whatever. I, I don't care enough to actually keep fighting for it. Um, yeah, you go in the house here. There goes the ninja lady. Go in the closet, get a fish. And this is the one where, like, this little cactus dude, he is around here somewhere. Because I discovered him, and then he won't stop following you afterwards. You can go into other houses, too. Yep, I'm in your house. Wow, that's really purple. That's fine. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I think that the guys that did uh, Goat Simulator did a good job. You know, creating a world um, that was it was fun to run around and there was things to discover. So it's not like good world building doesn't still exist or anything. It's just a lot of these titles that are only a few dollars. Like this one's like four or five dollars, I think. Um, and a lot of the cheaper games like that, they just don't bother to put anything into their world design or creativity at all. Can I not? Can I not go in there? No, I can. That's like an old, like it's like a super nice house and a really old washer and dryer. Man, this this house is like freaking just pink. Everything in it. I know it's like I I don't know what's wrong with me. I still think like man, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump up in one of these tubs and there's gonna be a skeleton in there. There's gonna be a dead body, just because because I've played too many video games. <laughs> but uh, the one thing that they was that a on earth that scared the crap out of me why is there a rabbit just running around the house oh well, there's mul multiple rabbits that's kind of freaking me out a little bit 
Okay, okay. That's, 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 cool. that's fine, that's cool. And then it, it keeps you from going places, and that actually makes me want to find out, like, well, what's down there? Is, is there something, is there something evil down there? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why, why can't I go in that person's backyard? What's, what, no, what's back there? Show me, show me what's back there. I have a search warrant, let me... Freaking swans. Anyway, if you guys, uh, yeah, let me know, whoa, let me know what you guys think. What do you think of the state of gaming here in 2017? Like, are you just discouraged by how much schlock there is? This game makes me motion sick, actually. It does, because of the, like, rapid movement. Like, I actually am getting physically ill playing this game. Either that or it's just so cute, it's, it's making me sick. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching this review. I know it really wasn't much of a review, but yeah, let me know what you think about the state of uh, games these days, the state of world building in games, and uh, what, uh, yeah, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, guys, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, and game on, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>